person that she go, who the hell is calling me? Fuck you want, bitch. Girl, my weave walked up and left the door. Left, what, left, what was it? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it to the heart. Ooh, where them chips at? Oh shit, I'm filming. <laughs> Can we do a little chip time? Mm. Make you famous, baby. Could you throw that ass backwards? Wish my last bitch a casket. My new bitch fought for marriage, and I'm still tucking money in the mattress. going back into my advice email and going through my advice emails because they have been piling up you guys need advice I need to give advice I feel like running my mouth and this is the best way to just run my mouth you know run my big mouth if you guys need advice on anything and you guys have not sent the emails to my advice email my email will be down below before we get started make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and also be sure to turn on those post notifications if they're not on let's get started Okay, first email comes from, <laughs> well, the username is stupid weirdo. I just, I don't know, me. She wouldn't be telling people she tried to kill herself and it was my fault if she didn't want me to look bad. I still care for her and I believe everyone deserves a place on earth. Anyway, what should I do? If you reply, my weave will get up and walk out the door. What? What the hell is going on? Like what? Where are you going? What? I'm so confused. Girl, my weave walked up and left the door. Left, what, left, what was it? <laughs> I'm just gonna put two and two together. Some girl is trying to accuse you of being the reason that she wants to commit suicide and you still like the girl and you don't know what to do. I, I, now, I don't know the backstory. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if y'all got into an argument and this is her way of taking it out. I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is that's not right at all. That's really effed up. Messed up. I feel like I'm left in the dark. I don't even know. All I do know is I'm gonna get another two. I'm not gonna eat it yet. I, if people come to you and they're believing what she's saying and they're also jumping on a bandwagon of accusing you, you should tell them what's really going on. Let them know what's really going on and that this girl is trying to like pin stuff on you. Now then she could be going around telling Billy and Bobby and Jody, Chris and Louise and Sharita and all these people that you did something that you didn't do and that everybody gonna start hating on you and then it's just a big fiasco, a bit a hoopla, bitch. What the f You need to talk to this girl who is spreading these rumors and let her know that it is not okay. And if she keeps doing it, you need to put a device tracking chip in the back of her neck. I want you, when she sleep, you need to bust in her house and put that chip in her, down her back. Like it's like a battery pack in a doll. And I want you to go to every person that she go, who the hell is calling me? Fuck you want, bitch. Nasir, did you change outfit? Where did you go? Where could you ever have gone? <laughs> Guys, okay, so my camera died and it's the next day. Hence why my outfit is different. And I was just gonna refilm this home video, but then I was just like, no, I don't wanna refilm because I already gave my first reaction to the email. So I don't even wanna refilm it. So we just gonna keep going where we left off. We gonna go to the next email. Oh, by the way, update on the chips. The chips are gone. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to my next email which comes from Larissa and I, Larissa, I think I know you girl. Do you be in my Instagram live? I think she be in my Instagram live. I think I know her. The point of this email is that I'm white and have Mexican. Me. But I look white as f So I'm white, but like, I'm not racist. And I really feel some type of way when people say that all white people are the devil, racist, ugly, etc. Like that's messy and I don't like it. I'm not racist. Bottom line, gut and dry. I'm not going to sit here and say supreme dumb sh like, uh, if you hate white people, you're f***ing racist. Because I hate kids that say that sh too. But for real, this shit hurts my feelings when, when, oh. Ah! This shit hurts my feelings when I hear people of color say all oh, that white people are racist and the devil and all that mess. It weighs heavy on my conscience because I'm sitting here thinking people just assume I'm a little ugly neo-Nazi because I look white. I can't control that my melanin ain't popping. Talk to Jesus about that, sis. Okay, Larissa, so you're white and you just don't like when people assume that all white people are racist, the devil, 
whatever, whatever, whatever. Honestly, like, it's nothing you can do. People are gonna say what they want, and I've learned that. People are gonna do what they wanna do, and people are just ignorant sometimes. Honestly, just brush it off, girl. Just don't let people's words get to you. Don't let this shit get to you, because you know you're not racist. You know you're not ignorant. You know all of this. So don't let it get to you. Don't let it affect you. Hey, now, Sierra, I have a question. How can I block out all the negative people and energy without hurting myself in the process? Oh, my God! Think Wilson, let me tell you this. Negative people, they gotta go. Bitch! I know it may be hard to block these negative people out. I know it may be hard to exclude them, especially if they're constantly, you know, trying to get back in your life that's really irritating. You don't need to give them an explanation as to why you're blocking them out your life. You're out of my life for a reason. I don't need to give you no explanation. Who are you? You don't gotta give nobody no explanation. All I know is it's not gonna be easy. It's usually like the negative people who aren't good for you that be trash, bottom of the barrel, scumbags. You know, it just be the hardest to get rid of them because it's usually they be closest to you. You talk to them all the time. That be usually a part of like you be wanting what you don't need to be having, which is like a whole nother. Oh my God, that's a whole nother discussion, a whole nother topic. Now we're gonna move on to the next email. Here we go with these boy trouble emails. Y'all really be stressing me out with this shit. Like this shit is, y'all make me want to go to sleep. <laughs> hey Nasir, so I'm having some trouble with this guy. Let's call him Jack. So Jax is in all of my classes this year and last year. So I have known him for two years now. I didn't talk to him as much as I do now, but that is besides the point. He is a real flirt. Like one minute he talks to one girl and then the other, like he playing around and stuff. So I was mad one day and I was tired of the mixed signal, so I ignore him. He starts to get sad and asks me what's wrong. I ignore him, then in our science class he says, okay, but seriously, what's going on? Are you okay? Do you not feel it? Acting all concerned and I just ignored him because he flirts and acts all mushy with the other girls he talks to. He said, if you mad at me, I don't care. I just want to know if you okay. And I say, I'm fine. Can I work now? He then got all sad and started staring at me and his, and his feelings for the rest of the class. The thing is, we argue sometimes and he gets annoying, but later on we forget it. Then we have those annoying people that say, you sound like a married couple. That sound like me and... <laughs> no man, back to the email. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh my God. Oh, I'm cutting that out. <laughs> However, when certain girls come around, he acting all different. Okay, so girl, you got this boy. You don't know if he like you or not because he's sitting here flirting with all these other people. But he's sending you mixed signals telling you he loves you, showing you all these emotions. What the f is that? People will play with your heart like that because they're childish. You gotta learn to deal with that as a teenager because that's what people do. Although you may be ready to settle down and find a relationship, girl, that don't mean he is. And girl, I'ma get on your ass too because you're trying to clock him and hold him down like he yo, like he yo, you know, your man or something. Girl, he ain't even, we ain't, what? He gonna do that and he gonna do that and you can't be mad because you ain't even locked him down yet. And that's just, that's what, and that's just. You know, that's just what it is. Just because we show you that we like you don't mean you the only one. Like, we can like you and we can like five other people, but the thing is, you got to stand out, and that's just what it is. So now we're going to move on to my next email. I just got so many emails and emails and emails and emails. Hey, Nasir, so there's this girl who I've been friends with for a while, and we used to be super close. At first, we were literally best friends, but then she started to annoy me. <laughs> Everything I ever did, she would copy. She copied how I dress, my hair, my music taste, my pictures, and even my culture. I know it sounds petty as fuck, but she really took it to the extreme. She will always unintentionally match my outfit and was always up in my business. She even pretends to act Asian and she claims she loves Asia and its culture, but there's, but then it's racist towards my mom. Oh shit, hold on bitch. She pretends to be so educated about my culture and even corrects me on my own. <laughs> <laughs> on my own background. Damn, so girl, like, she really, like, invested in this. Like, she thinks she know more than you. That's crazy. And then what happened? Tell me more. All my friends hate her, too, but we don't know what to do. It's just little things she does. Like, when she came to my house, she left her bitten nails in my bed and trashed my room. Oh, my God. We've tried to kick her out of my friendship group politely, but her moldy ass ain't budging. This is so petty. Like, honestly, this email, y'all be in mean girls right now. Y'all better leave this girl alone. And I want you and your friend group to all watch this video together. Leave that little girl alone, y'all. Y'all better leave her alone. Y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all know y'all wrong. You know, that's my good side. My bad side will say, kick that bitch out. Like, when enough is enough, enough is enough. And I've had some people who annoyed the fuck out of me after a while. And you don't even gotta be doing nothing. My fists are already bald. Bitch, you breathe. And I'm just like, 
my fists are clenched, they're bald. Like, I'm angry, I'm mad. I don't think you should kick her out. Like, that's, I just can't be the, I just, I can't. It's gonna seem like y'all all ganging up on this girl. What I think y'all should do is really just sit her down. Look, I like you, we like you, we really, and you know we, we we're trying hard to like you. You're tap dancing on that last nerve. You're really walking on a thin thread here, little girl. You know you're trying to copy my culture, you know, and you're trying to come for my mom, you trashed my room. You're just really out of pocket right now. You know it don't gotta be no grind session, grind time. You don't gotta grind her up, but like, let her know she out of pocket. All right, y'all, so I think that's it for the advice email. If you are not following me on any of my social medias, like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or anything like that, you know, Tinder, I mean, um, uh, sorry. Tumblr or anything like that. All of my social medias are down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are not if you ow! Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you have not done so already and also subscribe and turn on those post notifications If they're not already on you so I got a little aggressive at that point Also, if you guys made it this far in the video leave me a comment down below and tell me how old y'all are because I like to see how old y'all are I like to be in y'all business just like y'all like to be in mine So leave a comment down below and we go be in each other business and that's just how it's gonna go. I mean that's just what that's just what it is. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye!